At seven metres long and weighing half a tonne, this skeleton is thought to be the biggest single object ever found by archaeologists in London. These are the remains of a northern right whale, an animal normally found in the North Atlantic. Around 200 years ago, this unfortunate individual swam up the Thames by mistake, where London's whalers based at Greenwich couldn't believe their luck. The value of its oil and the teeth-like plates used at the time for stiffening ladies' corsets meant the whaling fleets were more used to sailing hundreds of miles to catch a 55-ton specimen like this. Commercial reasons probably explain why this skeleton's incomplete, according to Richard Sabin from the Natural History Museum. And the head can be up to a third of the animal's total body length. Um, we believe that the head was actually taken away probably at the time that the animal would have been defleshed. Um, the likelihood is that the, the, the commercial value of the oils and the whalebone plates in the animal's mouth were so high that the, the head was taken away for processing somewhere else. The skeleton was dug up in Greenwich and is on display at the Museum of London Docklands until September the 14th. Scientists will then carbon date the bones and study them to find out more about this endangered species.